good morning YouTube uh, today we are actually um, we gotta do some bee work and deal with our bees um, some of our nukes are expanding and, and that's a good thing because we split and the splits actually work so our goal is to go ahead and get some of those put in big boxes so we gotta check make sure we have some big boxes and deeps and so we don't have to build them uh, we're also going to work on our food for us today kind of get it weed deeded down and kind of cut it make sure it's ready uh, we're going to probably put some hay out and get some mulch down and try to see if we can get um, some things planted. Uh, we have some native dewberries that are growing in our woods. Uh, and also, someone said there's some huckleberries back there. So we're going to try to find some of them and uh, and, and replant them here. And it, it's, it's got a lot of big trees and a lot of old hedge in it. So we're hoping it can really make it like a, a true wild forest. So uh, we're just going to try and get them closer to the house. So we're going to do that, deal with the bees. We've got to move paddocks. And we have a good bit of bee stuff. You can see this is our bee supply. I gotta paint some of those. Got a good bit of supers, but I'm needing a few more deep, so and some bottom boards. So we'll get started on that. We're gonna let you uh, join us for the day. And uh, we hope we had a good day and hope you have a good day. Now you saw when we were putting the other food forest uh, kind of behind the gate, but this is another spot we had some road work done that needed to get done because I was having some issues with washing and uh, my gravel driveway was becoming a mud pit especially over the last few rainy weeks and months but we we got this cleared out where we're going and it, it's so beautiful so we're going to try to plant some heavy cover crop through here but also what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little food for us too and make it very very um, kind of formulated to Mississippi um, agriculture so our goal is to use elderberries and, and same same stuff that we just talked about the huckleberries uh, the dewberries but then we're also going to plant some native trees some native flowers so that way it becomes just one pretty little mississippi forest just for our bees and also for us to really enjoy so we're gonna... yeah and this happened um so doing the food forest just today uh and cleaning up outside may be a little hard when it just all of a sudden came a flood uh, you see it's got standing water everywhere so what we're going to do is actually <clears throat> i've been needing to change out salts and build the garden bed so i'm going to build the new raised beds in the shed and do a little work in there and maybe do some painting of the bee houses and kind of getting that kind of stuff done so um you know i guess with my to-do list i'm one of those people i write a heavy to-do list so when i can't do stuff uh in the yard i guess i can do stuff in the, the shed so um let's get started on that instead We have the two saws uh, with new blades on them. We're gonna start on the bee boxes and get them actually put together. These are the tongue and groove boxes that you typically see on a Langstroth uh, hive. So I'm gonna just go ahead and secure them. I've got a little glue on them, but not enough to know it, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually screw them in. You can nail those, but to me, it, the nails don't hold nearly as good as the screws. So we're gonna screw the other two in. That way we can get them painted over the next few days. Now I'm gonna probably have to use a voiceover because this rain on this tin building is unbelievable. But I'm gonna show you now how to build a raised bed just with $35 worth of material um, for one. Now, if you're looking for a nice raised bed that your wife will be pleased with, I would stay with these uh, two by 12. So I'm gonna do two by, two by 12, I'm using two to eight foot long, and then taking my third one and cutting it in half and making it four foot long. Now. 12 inches is not deep enough for our raised bed. So I'm gonna actually go too, too high. So you're using six two by 12 by eights, and they were basically five sixty a piece. 
So you, you've got, you can easily build one for $15 to $16 if you're looking to do one 12 inch thick, or you can build it for about $30 to $35 if you're building one with the height I'm doing, which is around two foot. So I hope this helps. I am going to probably do a voiceover. I'm just going to play music while I do this, just so you can see it get built at the same time we we'll want to hear all this rain. So uh, we'll get started on it. Alright, so we got all of them cut. We cut um, two eight foot boards and made them four foot. Uh, both of those, because they were not just the best select wood, uh, they were about 96 and a quarter and a 96 and a half. So I had to cut off just a little bit on the ends. Um, if you get really high end pine or really high end wood, uh, it would be completely probably eight foot. But on mine, they were a little over, so I went on and cut them to make them exactly eight foot and also exactly four foot. So that way everything's matching up like it's supposed to. So we'll go in and start putting together. We're going to screw together one uh, four by eight, and then we'll screw together the other four by eight, and then put them together with uh, blocks in the middle.
There you go. All we got left to do is we will actually put some two by fours in the corner. Look how good that looks. So easy. I mean, you're talking 30, I think $32 and some cents to build that. It took me about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, more than that. It's just getting the saw blades hooked all back up and all the electricity. So, hey, it's easy build. I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's not much, but hey, uh, if your wife says you need to build raised beds, you need to build raised beds. So here you go. Happy homesteading, y'all.